Welcome to Vehicle Design 150, Introduction to Drivetrains. In this class, we'll build a worm drive winch. This drivetrain doesn't make the vehicle go. Instead, it drives the spindle at the front that winds this rope. Our example is based on a winch at the front of a 4x4, but similar mechanisms are used on big things like cranes and rescue helicopters, and also smaller things like on a cello for tuning the strings. The part they all share in common is the worm, or screw gear, and when used with a round gear, you get a simple machine called a worm drive. Worm drives have two very useful features. First, for every full turn of the worm gear, it advances the round gear by only one tooth. This enables you to trade speed for torque, or pulling strength, in a very big way. Second, worm gears are not back drivable meaning you can turn the worm gear to drive a round gear, but you can't turn the round gear to drive a worm gear. This is why you can't just pull the string out. You have to switch the connector and drive the motor in reverse to reel the string out. And that's how a worm drive works. It's a great mechanism to use if you need a lot of torque or strength. And it's great for applications like winches or cranes, things that you don't want to unwind on you. Now here are your challenges. Challenge one, conduct a mountain rescue and send us a video of who you saved. Challenge two, what's the slowest you can lift your vehicle straight up without stalling? Get the complete kit at shop.myadams.com. Customize with your own parts and show us what you build 